Welcome back to The Compressor Guru. In today's video, The Guru starts right off showing you how to install the seal on this 15T project. By the way, folks, we sell parts. We sell all of the parts that you're going to see used in this video today. If you need parts, contact thecompressorguru.com. Please stay till the end of this video. We have an important announcement about the guru at the end of this video. Okay. So we have this all planed up. This is the seal housing. There's a brand new seal and it is a neat fit down in there. And that's kind of started. This fits very neatly over top of it. We're a little bit up right here. I'm hammering the whole way around and if there's a high side that's where you hit next we could see better if your hand wasn't on this side sorry I had to feel <laughs> I was gonna say this end would have been really good over here <laughs> So I'm going to take the lip of the seal right down to the casting. And that may not be the whole way down, but I'm up the same amount the whole way around. We're ready to put this on now. So you don't want it to go the whole way down? I want it even. That's, that's really good right where it's at. Okay. Okay. So folks, to start the day off, we're going to put our seal and seal housing on. Uh, I just showed you how to, this isn't going to work. You're going to have to wait. <laughs> That's still your job. You're just going to have to wait. So folks, I showed you how to put the seal into the seal housing. And this is very nice and even the whole way around. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put it on here. Now, I don't want to put this on dry and drag that seal across this nice smooth shaft, even though it's nice and smooth. What we're going to do is we're going to put some oil on the shaft right after the taper. And so this slides right on. Now, there is a right and a wrong way for the gasket, and that just is pretty obvious. Okay? Why do you put it on the shaft instead of around the little ring? I don't know, Bill. Guys wonder. To make you ask questions. There you go. No and folks, that's why I do laundry so often, because that was a rag you he didn't not. just use. Those no. were his pants. He just wiped that oil on. Quit talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be very careful, you don't get the seal on the threads. You don't want to tear that seal. And we want to slide it right straight up on there. I'm going to take a bolt with a washer. Put through the hole so we stay in place. That holds the gasket so it doesn't crinkle too, right? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and, you should have said that. Well, I think you did. Thank you, Bill. That's why I'm here. Uh -huh. 39 years just to complete your sentences. 20 happy years. We were married in 85. <laughs> the other thing I got to do is... Uh, before we put the intercooler on, we want to make sure this line, the line that goes from this here to here, and we've got to put this fitting in. So you might be asking yourself, why are we putting this line on before we put the cooler on? When we put this cooler on, this is not easy to get to. That's why we're apparently doing a few things out of order. 
This one is much easier and we'll do it when we do the other side. However, that's not the right line. <laughs> okay, back to work. Okay, so it's time to put the intercooler on and we installed these and put a little bit of pipe dope on them. And it's all about Scott now. I want to pick that up and bring it here. Okay. Now, yeah, oh, I oh, see wait. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, fancy boy. Hey, fancy boy. <laughs> Before you wear yourself out. Okay, slide it over each of the three. Okay, let me start a bolt for you. One, two, can and roller. <laughs> How much extra thread do you have over there? I feel like I haven't even got this started, which is sad to say. That sounds like it's not in exactly the right. Yeah. And because of the offset in the cylinders, we actually need a longer bolt for this side to reach in. And I'm going to get a ratchet, tighten those up in high speed, and Scott can go do something else for a little while. So now that we have our seal on, we're going to have Scott lift this flywheel, this heavy, rotten, heavy flywheel up into place. Off camera, I put the half moon key into the crankshaft and tapped it in place. And this is a tapered shaft, so Scott's not going to have to work and grunt. And all he has to do is line that key up and push it on. And we'll tighten it with a big nut. Scott, it's all about you. No, wait, you said there's something in there that he has to have to go on that key, right? Well, there's a slot in the... Okay, turn, so... Turn the flywheel around, short of the slot. No, no, you can leave it's it on the ground. Of, leave it on the ground. Leave it on the ground. Leave yourself out. Point to the slot. Okay, just a minute. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So it has that little tiny slot. And that goes to the half moon key. And even okay. though it's tightened up with that, that, that will keep it from spinning on a shaft. And it's going over here to right there. Okay. It's all about you, Scott. It's all about you, Scott. Is that heavy, Scott? It's not as bad as you'd think. Not for a young guy. Old guy like me will kill me. There you go. Now, Scott, take the washer and the nut and spin them on. That's really beautiful. Oh, you said this nut. Uh, there we go. Like you got that backwards, and I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, so that's a lock washer. Yes. So, folks, I'm going to get my impact wrench out. And this is one of the times... It's okay to use an impact wrench to tighten a bolt going together. Now I have to find the right size socket too. Okay folks, trust me. My half to three quarter adapter is in the service truck. And the service truck isn't here. I drove over in a car. So that will be tightened before this leaves here. You're not going to see it. Uh, we have a safety valve to put in here. And we're going to move to the other side of the machine and raise it up in the air. And we're going to do a couple of last little things. And we're basically done. Well, I'm not done. 
we're going to be done shooting. But I still have to tighten that. We had hoped to finish this 15T series today, but once again, we found another part we had to order. Therefore, this is a short episode. Before the next episode is up, Bud will have a new right knee. If you would, please say a prayer for Bud's surgery and recovery. Don't worry, folks. We do have a few more episodes ready. Hopefully, we will keep posting our videos on every other Monday. By the way, we're still working on doing the camera upgrades. Hit like and subscribe, and we are always happy with input, so please feel free to leave us a comment. God bless you all. Have a great day.